Hey, what's up, adventurers? Welcome back. This video is going to be a review on the Kong toy and the amazing perks and tricks that you can use with this toy. So these product reviews are meant for people who are trying to purchase a dog or trying to adopt a dog and they're already researching into it. I get a lot of comments on my other videos and on Instagram and usually people are always saying the same thing. Hey, I'm looking into getting a dog. Hey, I've been considering getting a dog. Hey, I've been thinking about adopting a dog. Now, these product reviews serve as a template for you to start seeing, okay, go through my, watch the videos, go through my issues, through my experience, and then make a judgment and say, you know what? No, I don't want this product because it doesn't fit me and my dog's needs. Yes, I do want this product because it fits me and my dog's needs. I've already had this issue with another product and so on and so forth. So I highly recommend you guys watch those videos. All the reviews are done with me owning the gear for over months. So that means that I've already put it through trial and error through my two enormous dogs. So if my dogs can handle it, I'm sure that a lot of the other dogs can handle it too. Now in this case, we're gonna talk about the extra large Kong toy. The link to purchase this will be in the description down below. If you guys are interested, make sure you go into the Amazon affiliate links, click on it and it'll take you straight to it. I'm gonna have, a, there's already a list of a couple other stuff that I have down there. If you guys are interested in looking at that, go ahead and do so. But for the sake of this video, it's gonna be about the Kong toy. So how do I use it? This is like magic right now during the quarantine. It is amazing, man. What I do is I put ground beef inside the Kong toy all the way down. I freeze it for like a day. So I'll have one in there already frozen and then I'll have another one that they're using outside, right? So there's four total because I have two dogs. So what it does when you freeze it is it makes it so much harder for them to get into it. It's already hard, like it's already pretty, pretty, hard to get the ground beef out of there and they it's like completely empty right now like there's nothing in there so it's already difficult for them to get in there as it is because they have to buy it and do all this crazy stuff with their mouth but when you freeze it you make it like 10 times harder so what do they do they smell the ground beef it smells good they taste it they like it they're just gonna spend hours there i'm talking about hours just laying down licking it biting it trying to figure it out ghost Ghost always gives up, like around this part. <laughs> I don't think he understands how to get it out. He every time it's like right there, he's kind of just like, I give up. He just leaves it there. And Fen will come and literally, like, he'll be with it right there in front of him. Fen comes and just takes it away from him, and he's just like, just staring at him, like, I don't know. I'm not gonna eat it anyways. And then Fen finishes it. It's always the same thing. So ground beef. So frozen ground beef is amazing. I, like it is great and if you're and if maybe you don't feed raw i mean it still doesn't hurt what maybe if you don't feed raw what you can do is put like kibble and peanut butter together like kind of mix it and form it into like i don't know like a ball and then just stuff it in there and all the way and then freeze it that way it's kind of the same thing you know it's still difficult for them to get through because they're gonna have to lick everything and the kibble and the peanut butter will serve kind of like as glue for the kibble so that works very well too now i know a lot of people put like big treats in there and i mean it's kind of easy for them to fall off sometimes because once they start biting into it the treats are just gonna start falling off i recommend freezing anything you put in there honestly just freeze it because they're gonna smell it they're gonna try to get into it but they have to thaw it out before they can even start eating it so this is an amazing toy to have right now during the quarantine when there's so much lax time there's so much like just being at home not doing much these toys can honestly save save you right now <laughs> save your couch or your furniture or whatever that they might bite and you're kind of curious like how big should i get well this is the largest one and it's perfect for my dogs uh my dogs are 100 and are well fence about like 90 pounds but he's really tall he's like 32 inches and ghost is like 110 last time i weighed him and he's like what 27 inches so Take it into consideration, right? If your dog is already bigger than mine, maybe you have a Connie Corso and you're like, yeah, I want that. Or if your dog is a heavy chewer, like he just bites anything he can, uh, maybe you kind of want to give him the bigger one. If you have a smaller dog, go with the large. Um, I know the mediums are actually pretty small. You know, the mediums are like this big, man. They're not, they're not big at all. So if you have maybe like a so I would say like if you have like a Border Collie or a Blue Healer, I'd say even then get a large, maybe not an extra large, but a large. 
I would say like the only time you would want to go to a medium is maybe if you have like a rat terrier or a, you know a terrier breed except for a pit bull obviously you, you would want a, a bigger one uh, this is actually pretty big this is exactly what I thought it was gonna be it can also serve as rewards you know maybe you're doing something with him and maybe like there's a behavior that you're looking for and when they act or do that thing you can go ahead and here you go is your big treat you know it's one big maybe give them like little treats and then as the final reward here it is the magic Kong toy and it's oh juicy goodness of ground beef inside and whatever <laughs> so there's a lot of different methods that you can use with the Kong toy you can use it as a reward you can use it for them to pass time you can use it for exercise you can use it for mental training because it's the mental they're stimulating their mind as they're trying to get into it and try to figure out exactly how much bite to do how, exactly how to get everything out ghost I guess he tires himself out so much that he falls asleep with it <laughs> unfinished. Literally, he'll fall asleep with it like halfway done. He's just like dead. And the Kong is just there. And I'm like, bro. Um, so it works, you know. Ghost, it puts Ghost to sleep. Let me tell you that. It's like a pacifier for Ghost. For Fan, maybe not because he's always energetic. But I guess this is a pacifier for Ghost. It's like his melatonin. So. So yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested, or you guys, if you guys are in the market for a new toy, I know my dogs like ropes too, but this is awesome. You know, the Kong toy is really good. It's probably my to-go-to. So I highly recommend you guys purchase it. Once again, the link is down below in the description. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned anything today, go ahead and pause that like button. Leave a comment down below. And if you're part of that 88% of people who watch my video that is not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Nothing but peace and love from my pack tutors.